I mean, you know, we went somewhere physically recently, didn't we? We went to uh, San Luis Obispo. Oh, San Luis Obispo is amazing. Uh, what, what a trip. There's so many things about that that I really enjoyed. I think one thing that I really enjoyed about Slow was the food. There was so much good food out there. Oh, it was amazing. And, like, I can't even believe we only get to try a couple different spots. Like, Yeah, it's it's so impressive how places like uh, Hofbrau and High Street Deli... Oh, High Street are, Deli is amazing. High Street is so fucking good. Like, hot damn. Shout out to High Street Deli. We are not sponsored by them, but I, I absolutely want to give them a shout out because that was a good sandwich high street if you see this uh please like send money our way and uh we we would love to uh, get sponsored by you or or just send us some merch that'd be cool Uh, send us a couple sandwiches too yeah (laughs) open a open a location in san jose we will we will buy that every day yeah we will um anyways yeah no that, that that trip was amazing um uh i'd like i mean like i guess we can we can like kind of walk a little bit through i mean it, it was it was a pretty like long weekend it was a long weekend but you know what it was really cool too um the hike down to the beach and like everybody was like falling over yeah every, um, like, was like i wasn't even the only one falling over everybody fell that weekend that, that was crazy <laughs> um and like falling did, over a lot <laughs> didn't didn't jesus and uh like somebody else get totally like splashed it was like josh and jesus got fucking soaked right by the ocean yeah, yeah no no that 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 tide get like that wave just just like came in like just whipped out of nowhere and just like w- just dived into the rocks next to them and it, and we were just like trying to like i literally was the first to realize that they're still standing far ahead on the rocks when i see this like way like uh something from the distance like this thing coming in and it's like oh gosh this is about to be big and i was like watch out like the tide's getting higher like i'm just like i'm like uh, yelling out to these guys and then they're like what wait take a selfie though real quick and these guys are taking a selfie for the gram and uh and 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 then like then out of nowhere you just well out of nowhere to them i i like literally saw this whole thing take place and it was like literally went up like 10 feet mind you the typical waves you saw there were like two feet so it was just like this thing that was like immensely higher and it just like was so high that they're just like Oh shit, we gotta go. And I was like, yo, we get yeah, we, let's get everyone out of here. Let's get everyone to higher ground. And so that's when everyone was like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we understand now, Matias. Yeah, okay, we got yeah, it. Yeah, they're honestly they're very lucky that they didn't lose their phones to the sea. Um there's so much shit that, that gets lost in the sea. Like when I was in France, I went to Nice and I went to the beach there, and I lost my sunglasses in the Mediterranean Sea. Damn. Um and did you like those sunglasses i did like those sunglasses and i was so bitter because i had for the rest of my trip i did not have sunglasses because i didn't want to buy new ones <laughs> Dang, that, that, that's right oh and you bought them there no i i had brought them from from america that's why i was like i don't want to spend extra money on sunglasses um because i i only had so many euros you know, I had I had paper money because I at the time I didn't have a credit card that had inter, no international transaction fees. So if I went to a bank and got money, they would have charged me this this big old you know fat fee to, to it's like a transferring fee. yeah like a transaction fee for international stuff. And like just to exchange, it costs like a good bit too. Yeah, that that too. I think it, uh, but at the time, uh, the dollar and the euro were roughly at parity with one another, so it was essentially one dollar to one euro. It really wasn't that big of a difference, but the the problem was the transaction fees. That I didn't want to deal with. That's too bad that uh, that you end up losing those glasses there. Uh... Yeah, um, we uh, yeah, those guys are lucky that they didn't end up losing their phones. But like you know, every, everyone was already. It was a, it was a great time down there. It was like a, a like the the waves were uh, like the weather felt like kind of good. Like it was kind of uh, windy, kind of cool. But I had my like uh, like windbreaker on, so like kind of felt nice. Um, you know, like uh, that trip down was interesting. Like all of us are kind of like you know wobbling here and there because it's just so like fucking like steep um and uh yeah it, it was it was cool while we were down there you know we walked back 
uh and and just kind of like kind of like hung out like and just were with each other for a good bit more there was like a good like 13 of us uh Mm -hmm. you know it was like me you jason uh, a few a few of the like a lot of the guys like about half the chapter yeah uh like went um and that that was a great time we got to uh, stay the night a few nights at uh at one of the brothers places and yeah like um we, we, I know, like, we, we kind of experienced a little bit of d- different stuff. I know that, like, all of us, like, you didn't go to the, the like, go to the nightclubs. Oh, yeah, that that really wasn't my bag. Um, but, like, there was a lot of drama that happened at the nightclubs, too. Like, two guys got their IDs taken away. Like, geez, this, that, that, was, that was obviously a crazy night for everybody. Um, uh, that was, that was some drama. The highs of highs and the lows of lows experienced by by one of our uh, our friends that ended up have uh, like ended up having the greatest night uh like uh going like ended oh up getting, man getting a ride home oh man I forgot I forgot that he he well, he fucking gets his ID taken away almost gets detained and decides that he's gonna go take another risk and go spend the night with this girl that he met on Tinder like. That is wild. That is such risk-taking behavior, um, which is something I would never do, but I think is really like interesting to do. You know? Yeah, he 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 really risked it, like going for it, shooting a shot with like uh, I like. I mean, uh, he uh, by the by the time that he got there, he was just so like done. He was just like, wow, I made it all this way here just to, for this to happen, and um. Yeah, he was. He he ended up. He he said he enjoyed the night. He said it went well. So I mean, that, I guess that uh, that's that that's that's a good thing. He ended up making it back back to the back to the house the day after. We were just like, wait, well, what's up, dude? You just kind of came out of nowhere. Like he just it was a, uh, and and he finally got the to tell the story about yeah. his night. Like uh, poor guys to go all the way back to to slow to go to that uh, court date uh oh geez yeah that's far yeah but uh you know uh shouldn't be too bad um yeah that 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 was a really fun time we got to try the like the like what what kind of uh what did you like about uh what did you like a lot about the trip um i think something that i i really enjoyed was getting to learn a lot more about the guys that i spend time with you really got to because we were th- with each other for like seventy two straight hours. You really got to know what people are like and you know who they are and what what their sort of thoughts and feelings and, and processes are. Um, yeah, definitely. And a lot of you guys are a lot different than you know when when I'm only around you for like an hour. You know, it's it's so much more real than you know the way that we present ourselves at like chapter meeting or whatever it's a it's a very long prolonged like a a very prolonged period of time like where all of us uh have spent more time with each other than than we've ever have in a in a single single sitting like that like um all of us were doing everything like we were always with each other all the way up until like we fell asleep Mm-hmm. and uh but that was, that was cool that we uh, we got to do so much so many different things i know like w- uh one of the mornings like there we went to a view spot where we got to check out like this ocean spot near uh our friend's high school i don't uh i know some people weren't able to make it out but some people like did and there was like uh different like things with uh the there was like off-roading stuff that that like some people went, went on <laughs> yeah, we did the off-roading that was so crazy uh, <laughs> we we went up to this location where like so for reference our our friend has a two-wheel drive suv right you definitely needed four-wheel drive where we were at um <laughs> but he made it work anyway <laughs> somehow and like in order to get further up the hill we all had to get out of the of the SUV because we were all too fucking fat and we were weighing that shit down. <laughs> so then he he starts up the up the up the car after we all get out 
And he just fucking punches it. And that shit just goes rocketing up the hill. It was incredible. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was that was wild. We, we all had to run out. And then he just like kind of kept going. And he had, we had to go like backwards to go down too. Because it was just so like narrow. Yeah. The, the, the road was too like it, fucking narrow. And, and the way that some people were like totally freaking out about it. They were like, this is not. I, they were like, I'm going to die. And I was like. You know what? If we die, this is a cool way to die. They <laughs> 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 the, 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 there's a there's a cool spot that me and uh, Jason took a photo at. Actually, it was it was really cool. It was like near uh, it was it was near a picnic table, but like it was on the edge uh, where like wh- like where we were. It was a, like uh, it was a good view spot for uh, the like uh, lookout spot, like that you could see all the city nearby, plus like the ocean. And so uh, I guess like some people have put a pic- there was a picnic table out there, and me and Jason found it, and uh, it's like a really a really cool spot to take a picture. So we took a picture out there. That was really cool. How was how was that, Jason? How was that for you? I think that it was super windy, but the picture was worth it. It gave us a beautiful view of Morro Bay together. It was just amazing. Yeah, yeah it, you, you say it so nicely where, like, when we were over there, like, you sounded miserable and that cold. You were fucking cold. <laughs> yeah, I was complaining, like, <laughs> I think everybody was cold on uh, that trip, I, 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 though. I like, it was fucking I, freezing out there. I think none of us were truly prepared for how cold it was going to be in you know, the central prepared. coast of California. I... I I never realized that it's a much colder climate than than I think it is. You know, it, it's it's so uh, it's so it gets so windier. Like the closer we get to the, the the bay, like next to the ocean, it gets so windy. I uh, I definitely wasn't prepared. I brought us like a like a walkable sleeping bag, but that was, that was about it. So like that that kept me that kept me going at least like for most of the period of time that we were there. Um, but yeah, most, most, like all all of us were like complaining about the, like it was it was cold for all of us, and even the guy that like used to live there, he was like, yeah, this is pretty cold. Like this is, like I always have to have a, like a wetsuit on when I go surfing and all that. So, like um, that that like glad we we got to check it out, but you know it it's we can only endure a lot of that before it just gets like too cold without like the proper gear, uh, when staying out there. I don't know. I kind of think. Uh like central california surf towns right i think that to me what that showed me is like you know the california cliche of like everybody in california is this surfer person who's like whoa man hang 10 whoa like and they you know like they they're these kind of like you know just like surf beach bums like that's the kind of cliche about california and i feel like that's not really true with like most of California, but I feel like those central coast beach towns, may- maybe that's where that comes from, you know? Yeah. The, the, there is that stereotype of like the, the California, like surfer, like, um, that, that like goes to Santa, Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like hawaii or something uh, like uh, or like that ends up like moving like from from hawaii or like someone out here just like wants to go there they have the aspirations or dreams to like move somewhere where there's a lot of waves yeah well like you know the sort of person who like goes on vacation to baja every summer and like they own five surfboards and like they have you know like messed up like dirty blonde hair and you know, they drive like a convertible Jeep or something like that. You know, it's a very cliche, very pa- like California pastiche. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. And I feel like that's the sort of place where that really happens. Yeah, that that uh that that like host uh that view on on the Californians gets passed passed on everywhere. Um, at, like at least when when we got to know so like uh like one of the, like we when we got to know like some of those guys uh, at the other pie caps out there like uh um it they they were they were super nice guys like they they did not like fit the uh i mean they, they were really nice but like they they just like weren't like the the stereotypical like like surfer guy uh they were more uh outdoorsy like there there's these like like group of group of guys that like uh, were the part of the 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 chapter out there and uh and, and all of us went to go see them and it was just so cool it was just 
amazing like uh th- these guys like all of them like were hanging hammocks everywhere that was, that was oh a good time. yeah that was really cool um that was his name oh i don't want to drop name drop him but like that no. yeah i rem- I know who you're talking about and he had like that sick ass camper truck and like yeah there, there's like well there's like three hammocks out there there's yeah like three I of them know, but... then in, inside it was like a fucking like it was yeah uh it was it was a good time it was like we were playing pool some like uh uh, it was like it used to be a restaurant, so like the, the, there was like cool things that they did with like the that like den area, yeah, uh, like inside like the old walk-in fridge and stuff. That was really cool. Yeah, they they oh man, their their house is so cool. It's like, huge. It is huge, but I I think like it's also really unique, right? Because it, I, to me, this is my personal opinion. Any building that was not designed to be a house, which ends up becoming a house is automatically more interesting. Like, say for example, like if you take an old school and you turn that shit into a house, like that's going to be a really sick ass house because <laughs> it's going to be so fucking weird. You have like this massive cafeteria and shit. Like it, it's, it's, it's just strange. Like any building that is not designed to be a house that ends up being a house is super cool. And they, their one was, I think it was probably like a bed and breakfast. Cause they had all those like bedrooms it reminded yeah. me of a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. It, it literally I totally reminded me. know what you mean. <laughs> that like all the wood and like you know like oh and god, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know exactly what you mean. It's totally a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, you, you like like uh, like I guess there's people that came by to uh to like I get they I guess they went in the parking lot because like they have a parking lot there mm-hmm. and and they went to check it out and they're like hey like we came to this restaurant like is it is it this this I think that's that this is our restaurant they're like no like this is this is not like Cracker Barrel or anything and, and I was just like <laughs> oh my gosh like you're kidding me and and, and apparently and like there's this like I, I was like out there when this happened too like there's this random like I guess the neighbor of theirs just like came walking down with the with the like like they don't really have many neighbors and so like this guy came out of nowhere he was like hey what are you doing well where do you go to school at just waving his cane at us and he's like and we're just kind of talking it up over there and and uh, just got to got to the the just got to know the interesting neighbors out there just while that was happening um just a, a inter- interesting place that they got uh, uh out there like it's really cool like how it was like just uh it, it it's like a it, it's it, it really fits the vibe i feel i feel like that they really have a vibe going on over, over there um with they even have a dog Oh yeah, um, beans. Beans the dog. Beans. Yeah, oh, the, be, beans is is a good dog. Very like good beans. dog. Um, I think something that the only thing that I could say that like would make their house cooler is if they had a pool. But I feel like pools automatically make any house cooler. Um, but like other than that, they have such a sick house. Like, it's just so cool. I mean, we never we never even get to check the check check the back. That's fair. Maybe they do have a pool. I mean, like yeah, we only got to see as far as like because like we only were hanging out with them, but not even that long, so it's not like we really had much time. Yeah, we didn't explore the whole property. It seems like they had like a whole expansive property beyond yeah, that. You know, the, the, there was like another portion of their property that for sure we like went further back. Like like there was definitely that area that was just kind of uh, out there. But they had a they, they had a nice area like uh, where we were just hanging out. They they were nice. They gave us some like hot dogs. So uh, did you get some hot dogs? Um, no, I did not. I didn't have any anything to eat when I was there because I I ordered food with a, a couple of the other guys. They that got like uh, some. Oh, you guys got some barbecue, right? Yeah, we got barbecue, and oh, that was pretty good. That sounded nice. Oh, um, oh, but me me and Jason and and uh, and another one of our brothers, we got barbecue on the way down to san luis obispo as well oh nice okay. um we stopped at this place in like what was it santa cruz or was it monterey santa cruz cole's yeah. barbecue yeah cole's barbecue that place whoo that was some good food highly recommend Wait, was that the clam chowder place no the clam chowder place was hofbrow oh hofbrow uh I, I didn't get, i didn't end up going to that 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 place yeah, um, no, you didn't. You didn't the, come with the, us. That that sounds really nice. So what what do you have? What they, what they what would you order? So I got tri tip, uh, chicken and 
pork ribs. Be- <sighs> or, yeah. That sounds fire. It was really good. And I got I got the barbecue baked beans because I am a fucking slut for barbecue baked beans. I love them. Um, Let's go. I, I feel like that's one of the best sides that you can get with any kind of like barbecue food is the baked beans. Because um, like... I'm sorry, coleslaw, disappointing. What about Fries, the, I can get it anywhere. Like, what about a stuffed potato, the baked potato, ooh, or the double baked potato? Yeah, or the mashed potato. Potatoes in any form are automatically great. Like, facts. You you can't go wrong <laughs> with a potato unless you've like burnt it. Like, if you cook a potato correctly, it's always gonna taste good. It doesn't matter. Like. You bake that shit, delicious. You boil that shit, delicious. You fry that shit, delicious. It doesn't matter. Potatoes are always tasty. Yeah, yeah. that that sounds amazing though. That what you ordered that 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 like sounds uh, amazing. Uh, like you, so you had really good reviews about it. Like, what was the so like overall? Like, you're really happy with kind of everything that you ended up having there. Yeah, I was I was really happy with all of it. I thought it was really good. Um, Jason got the fish and chips. He didn't even get barbecue. Um, how were they, Jason? They were really amazing. I had to drive and eat at the same time. Do not recommend it. Very dangerous. <laughs> Don't do it. But it was very good. I think the prices were reasonable. Um, I will say, though, so that place had really long wait. But I think that's because it's made to order. Oh, it's definitely made to order. So, in a way, it's a it's a good thing. I think it's, fair, a, it's a fair trade. Um, I think... I would have liked to actually have been able to have the time to sit and eat there. Um, it was just a really like peaceful spot, you know. Just, just there's a lot of weird cars that drove by in Santa Cruz when we were like sitting there. Like a lot of strange camper vans and stuff that were like uniquely modified. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. So I would, I would have liked to have sat there and just watched all the weird cars go by. Well, uh. There, there was like a there, there was like a place that I had out there. There was like a like a burger place that I don't think uh, that no one else had. I I ordered it separately. Like I ordered it at DoorDash uh, one of the nights, cause um, cause uh, I was just like ne- needing some food like at the end of the night. Just uh, like everyone was just kind of I think everyone like had already eaten and I was just kind of like the one person left that hadn't really ate that much. So I ordered some food, got like some like Beyond Burger type thing, mm. and uh, didn't end up eating uh, even getting it because I I literally crashed so hard like uh, on a sleeping bag like on uh there there was like barely any space so, like over there for people to sleep so I ended up sleeping on a sleeping bag on the ground, but like uh, yeah I just fell asleep very hard. Uh, all of us had a, like a long day like just like, um, just like hanging out with each other like uh, just um, and. Uh, I mean, yeah, it ended up being pretty good. Uh, I'd, I'd say like that they, they made a they made a pretty good burger. Uh, like uh, I was able to kind of like reheat a lot a lot of it the, that that following morning for like a lunch before we ended up leaving. Uh, the uh, the high street was like the, the probably the high the, the best of all of them. Oh, high street definitely was the best food place that we went to. Um, I kind of regret exclusively only trying sandwiches that had turkey in them. I wish I would have tried some other meat, like a roast beef or something. Um, but every, everything that I got, I loved because they were all really unique. But like, I I want to know, like the meat range. Like, are they all good, or is to like the turkey the best? Like, I I fully want to know because they had one that was really weird. It had like guava jam or something like that. Like something really strange, you know. Um, and oh my god, that was amazing! It was it was the daily special for Saturday, guava jam, something like that. I don't know, maybe it wasn't guavas, but some something weird like that. Hmm. Overall, it was a pretty successful trip. Uh, like we, we ended up like going going home soon after that. Had like a couple of coffees that that morning. All of us booked it back. Uh, I think uh, me and Jason forgot something at at the at the at. The, at, at like their place oh yeah but... you guys did it got shipped back to the house oh how, how nice of them uh, yeah <laughs> yeah uh, they they shipped uh they shipped our stuff back to the to the uh fraternity house and you can go and pick it up from uh you know the guy whose house we went to nice. i won't yeah. name drop on the podcast 